we've had 10 different vehicles since we got married uh, four and a half years ago. So we like change cars a lot. Um, we've lived in three, three, huh? three different two. places. Yeah. Um, so why not add a fourth? Hey guys, it's Brian and Haley. And we just wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on in our life. I know it's been probably a couple months since we gave a real update. Um, if you watched our last video, we did like a short little summary of the Houston Auto Show. Um, we went with my brother and Amber and we got to walk around and look at a bunch of cars that That's we cool. could never afford. So, Anyways, uh, we wanted to hit on a couple things um, and just kind of give you guys really an update of like three or four different areas that have been going on in our life. So, um, number one, just where we've been. Um, I don't know. Haley's in her fourth year of teaching uh, at her school. So, how's that going? It's good. I mean, it's been a lot of readjusting. I'm at a new campus this year, um, and the the school is like three times, four times the size of my last school. Yeah. Um, we went from like two hallways to... I don't even know, a lot of hallways. And so it's just a lot of relearning and readjusting to a new campus and... Um, it's a lot further to run to the teacher's lounge or the copy room yeah. or anywhere. My so. first year I was like literally across the hallway from the copy room. And now I'm like across the school from the copy room. Yeah, so I'm going up to Haley School probably every week or two and trying to help make copies to make that a little easier for her. So it's fun to see the kids and I see, like my, being see my wife so um, that's Haley's job for me real estate's been good um, sold a lot of houses um, also driving the school bus five years I can't believe it's five years of driving the school bus so one of the things we wanted to kind of share with y'all if you are friends of ours on Facebook or you kind of have had a conversation with us lately in person um, you may have heard us talk about keto um, I know that it's the beginning of a new year and everybody's doing all of these diet things and healthy things and um, lifestyle changes. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys an, a background on why we're doing keto and why it matters to us. Um, specifically for me, um, when I was diagnosed with colon cancer back in 2017, um, the doctors actually recommended that I go on keto to starve the cancer because it feeds on sugar cells. And so I did that uh, for a short time um, yeah. up until I started chemo. So that was about three months worth of, of doing it. Um, it was really difficult, I would say for me specifically because I'm not a big vegetables guy. So like that transition was tough uh, yeah it was really tough lots of green beans um, lots of green beans i got um, really tired of green beans yeah um we actually had some friends who brought us um cauliflower rice stuffed peppers one time and it was very kind of them um and they were okay it wasn't really my i liked them wasn't really my thing cauliflower rice was not He's real high like, oh. Okay, not okay. high on my list but um, I will say in fairness this time around um, definitely much more open to cauliflower and just other vegetables in general I would say I've probably eaten more vegetables in 2019 than I've eaten in the rest of my combined adult years of life so yeah. um, kind of sad, it, sad to exciting. say but <laughs> it's exciting I mean you'll eat broccoli now and we made broccoli a couple times a couple times broccoli course, cauliflower cheese on top yeah um, <laughs> So anyways, um, a lot of you, I mean a lot of you have been asking us where we get our recipes and like the things that we come up with. So we are going to put a link down below for some of the, the places that we like to, to get. Um, Keto Culinary has some really good stuff. Um, Low Carbology has some really good stuff. Um, I like her blog because it's got a lot of like southern cooking inspired things. So it's very like comfort food oriented. Um, Which I crave lots. Yeah, it's been really good. Uh, my mom's also doing keto, which has been really good. Um, for for my mom and I, and I mean, I can't necessarily answer for Haley, but for, for myself specifically, um, keto has not been about losing weight. Um, it's a nice byproduct of the change in diet, but it hasn't been about losing pounds per se. For me, I'm a type two diabetic and keto has really helped me get my blood sugars under control. Um, 
almost immediately within just a couple days of going into this kind of lifestyle change in eating, um, I was able to reduce the amount of medication I was taking. Um, my A1C, which is like your, your three month um, scorecard of your blood sugars, um, has already come down significantly just even after four to six weeks on this change. So it's been really positive and it's, yeah. it's something that, you know, our goal is to work off of medication. We don't want to be on a bunch of medicines. So we are um, checking in with a doctor to like make sure. That yeah, we're yeah, we're right. yeah. we're not just you know doing whatever <laughs> we want. But um, so that's been really good, really encouraging. So um, that's why it's been such uh, an important change for me to to really put forth the effort yeah. on this. For me, I mean, it's I, so those of you that don't know, a year and a half ago, I went off gluten and dairy, and I've since started eating dairy again a little bit on occasion um but i noticed that when i went off the gluten i was still finding all these maybe alternatives or in other ways i was still eating a lot of sugar and a lot of grains that in turn in your body produce sugar and an insulin response and so for me like if he was going to do keto is exciting for me too because i'm really trying to cut back because, I mean, seriously, it opens your eyes to how much sugar is in everything that we eat in America. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like, crazy. I was having a conversation the other day with somebody about when you do keto, it forces you to start looking at the nutrition fact label on the foods that you're eating. And, I mean, it's really just mind-blowing. Like, when you actually stop and start paying attention to what we eat, right. um, how many carbs, how much sodium, how many you know calories, all of those things... Um, not just picking on one of them, but just, just in general, when you start kind of paying attention and keeping track of what are you consuming, uh, right. it's really, really like mind blowing. So uh, it is. And I've already for years, like looked at nutrition labels and I've read mainly ingredients lists, like paying attention to those things, but actually understanding the numbers and then recognizing every single thing I eat and how that reacts to my body. It's just crazy. Yeah. But. So if you're thinking about um, doing keto, if you're interested and want to know more, um, you can ask us questions down in the comment section below. By no means are we experts, okay? It is, we are not keto experts. No, like, we're just, sharing our own experience. Yeah, we're, we're, we tell people about it because it's been good for us. Um, definitely talk to a doctor if it's something that you think that you want to try. Um, we do have a video that Dr. Diet, um, that's the channel that we've, kind of gotten some information from does a really good job of explaining what keto is and how it works so um, I'll link that down below in the description box uh, because I know a lot of people have asked specifically why keto and what it is and, and those kind of things and you so. do have to be really careful with keto like you know the true meaning of keto so just make sure you do your research and absolutely. talk to a doctor if you plan on doing it absolutely so that's the keto diet information. Um, if you have questions, like I said, leave them down below in the comment section. We'll try and answer whatever we can. Um, the next thing that we wanted to kind of give you guys an update on, um, I know a lot of you have been curious about our adoption process. Um, we are curious about our adoption yes, process. <laughs> um, so we got licensed uh, towards the end of the summer, early part of the school year. Um, we're officially licensed by the state. We have this really lovely piece of paper hanging on the wall in the kitchen over there um, that says we're licensed. We still don't have any kids in our house, though. Um, we It's just a process. We are going through that process. Um, right before the holidays, we actually submitted an inquiry about a, a girl um, that we're interested in. Um, but through the course of the holidays and, um, and now just what we've learned is just an overabundance of caution and um, maybe not hesitance in a bad way, but just a, 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 a desire to be very intentional. Um, that process is moving a little slower than we anticipate. The process is progressing. Um, we don't have um, specific answers about a lot of things yet. Um, we haven't been matched with her. Um, yeah, but we're, the, we're kind of in that process, but haven't gotten any final, um, yes, you're matched. Kind or, of. or no, so, you're not. So yeah. um, it's moving forward. We're hopefully optimistic, uh, but we're also cautiously optimistic. I mean, because there's still a yeah. lot of um, just up in the air right now. There's so. a lot of like phases and steps and things that you go through whenever you submit an, 
I guess you called it an inquiry, like your, yeah. your home study. And, you know, we're on that process. Sometimes it goes really quick. Sometimes it takes a little more time. It's all right. by case by case basis. So. Yeah. So our caseworker has been awesome. We're super excited to be working with her. Yeah. Um, Thank you so much. We have a lot of the same beliefs and backgrounds. And so, you know, she kind of gets where we're coming from. Um, so it's really, it's been good. It's been really good. So thank you for praying for that because it's cool to work with somebody who gets who gets you. Yeah, that so. was definitely um, an answered prayer. Yeah, her as our yeah it's been good. Worker, yeah. So in terms of what's going to happen next, um, we will let you know when we know. So that's kind of where we are with adoption. So um, the last thing is... is uh, a maybe? A maybe. It's a maybe. I mean, we are... If you know us... You know that like things are constantly changing. Um, we've had ten different vehicles since we got married uh, four and a half years ago, so we like change cars a lot. Um, we've lived in three three, huh? three different two. places. Yeah. Um, so why not add a fourth? You know. So mm -hmm. um, that's kind of where we are. We are actually we're considering um, selling our home here in Katy um, and possibly moving a little bit closer to Haley's work. So it'd be a shorter <laughs> commute for her, a little bit longer for me. Um, but the goal would be to be in a place where we would have a little bit more land, um, one to two acres. Um, Haley wants to be able to have a cow someday. I don't think it's going to happen. So. Yeah. so we'll see. Anyways, we're, we're looking at moving out to the, to the country. Um, It'd be nice because I'm closer to work. And um, I like the idea that as we start our family, that they would have places to run and opportunities. You know, Explore outside yeah. and be outside with uh, something different, a, something yeah. different than what we can offer right now. Right. So, which I love our home, and it's kind of sad that we would be letting it go, but yeah, um, another family can enjoy this beautiful home. Absolutely. So. In fact, if you know somebody who might like a house in Old Katy, let us know because we are considering <laughs> selling it. Um, in terms of where we would move or what we would be moving into, um, we are actually considering doing a barn dominium style house. So we actually know some people who build metal buildings and so we've had some conversations and have been going through that process of discussing what that would look like. So um, we're, we're excited about cool. the possibilities, um, something different, you know, that's just us. We're a little non-conventional, just a little bit. Just a little bit. We're not, we're not totally off the grid, but we're not homesteading. Um, we've got Maybe some- one day. We've got some friends who like left Katie and they have their own uh, YouTube channel, um, Bo and Kelly over at Better Life Together. Um, it's awesome. What's really cool. Go, go watch their videos. Really cool stuff. Not quite where we are. So, um, but Maybe if you want day. something fun, definitely go check them out. Um, and anyway, speaking of other YouTube channels that we watch, Haley and I have started watching um, a channel called uh, The Crazy, Crazy Middles. Middles. Um, if you are interested in adoption or foster care, um, if you like kids, if you like the Literally. craziness of family, yeah. um, that is definitely this channel. So, um, they have, I think it's 18, I think kids? Eight, 18 kids that they've adopted and then they have two of their own, something like that. Or I don't know. They've got, total 16 they've, they've adopted, got a lot, something like that. They've yeah. got a lot. So, um, they're from Arizona and, um, we enjoy watching them and no, that is not a precursor to say that we are going to adopt that many kids. Um, it's all in the Lord's hands, but, but yeah, that's when, not really on our plan right now. <laughs> when we started watching it, we just thought, hey, this is really fun. Um, we were actually looking for people's uh, stories of adoption stories and we mm -hmm. came across one of their teenagers sharing their adoption story and Haley and I really just, I don't know, we really enjoyed seeing just the openness and vulnerability that she shared, you know, kind of how she the came into foster going, care yeah. um, and then hearing about her adoptive parents. And so just a really neat, really neat opportunity. So if you like watching YouTube, Crazy Middles, we'll link that down below as well. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's, that's what we've got going on. Yeah, it's kind of a quick wrap up of where we are right now, February yeah. 2019. So anyways, if you've watched through this entire video, kudos to you. I know it's been almost 15 minutes or maybe a little bit more, but um, that is how life goes. I mean, just like that, 15 minutes of our day. Thanks for sticking with Thanks us. Thanks for sticking with us. So we'll catch you guys next time. Like we said, if you have questions about keto or adoption or uh, maybe want to buy a house in old Katie, it's super cute. Um, just comment down below or send us a message and we will be happy to answer whatever we can. So until next time, we'll see you guys. Bye.